Destiny Rise of Iron is just about here. So here soon, Guardian after Guardian will be plunging into the new story and new content. But in Destiny, one of your most important things is your weapon and how it is used. So what weapons are the best weapons to use, especially in Rise of Iron? My name is Buckeye and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in today. For this video, I'll be covering the top five best exotic weapons to use in Destiny Rise of Iron. Now keep in mind two things. First, this list originates from my personal opinion and experience. And secondly, this list is not specific to PvP or PvE. This list combines both. So without any further delay, let's get into this countdown. At number 5, we have the Maida Multi-Tool. This weapon stems all the way back from Year 1 of Destiny, and since then has consistently been a fantastic choice of a weapon in the Crucible, as well as in some PvE encounters. So why did I put this on the list? Well, no matter what new weapons arise in Rise of Iron, the Maida Multi-Tool has and will continue to stand the test of time. So if you want a good, reliable weapon to take you through the Rise of of Iron PvP, consider the Mida Multi-Tool. Coming in at number 4, we have all three exotic swords. The swords were one of the best additions to Destiny, especially their exotic counterparts. The great thing about these weapons is that they are not bound to be good in one specific activity. They're good both in PvE and PvP. With various abilities each weapon has, big DPS, add control, or catching someone off guard in the Crucible, these are some fantastic choices to take into Year 3. Here at number 3, we have the Last Word. Whether you get annoyed when getting killed by this weapon, or you absolutely absolutely love using it, you cannot deny how useful this weapon continues to be in Destiny's PvP game encounters. I would say it is definitely one of the most popular weapons to use in the Crucible, especially in Trials of Osiris, and it's definitely a good idea to run a sniper with it. If you miss that headshot, always pull out that last ring to get the body shot. But either way, if you are a PvP person, this weapon is going to be handy for you in Rise of Iron. The runner-up at number two is the Black Spindle. This weapon came as a big surprise back a short time after the release of the Taken King. It was a grand surprise surprise at that. The Black Spindle is consistently one of the most used special weapons in Destiny PvE, and especially for certain encounters in the raid King's Fall. Its fluent and consistent DPS makes it almost a must-have when needing to put up some big damage numbers on a target. Since with precision kills you do not have to reload, you can almost double your damage output you would have with, say, a thousand yard stare. This weapon is an excellent weapon to wield in Rise of Iron. And our number one spot goes to the Galarhorn. The Galarhorn was the crown jewel weapon in Destiny Year 1, and if you remember there were tons of videos of people going nuts when they finally got the drop from the Raid or Crucible match. And here with Rise of Iron, this weapon is finally back. Now, it may not be as useful as it once was, but that's like saying, instead of it being freaking OP, it's now just a very good damage dealer on bosses in PvE, and a great weapon for getting heavy kills in the Crucible. The Galhorn really is a great all-around big DPS weapon in Destiny. And make no mistake, this will not change in Rise of Iron. So this just about does it for today's video, Guardians. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Video. and if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like. If you want to watch more videos like this as Rise of Iron releases tomorrow, then subscribe. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.